This is Student Jackies with Rebecca, Alicia, Karen, I'm Jasper. Hello everyone, this is Through the Decades and we're here to talk about something we all have in common and that's music. In our group today we have myself, Alicia, me, Carrie, me, Jessica, and me, Rebecca. Um, we are here to talk about how music has changed from the past and current time. We are also here on a project which is called Pod Peace on Demand. Uh, the aims of the project is to bring two schools from different backgrounds to come and work together to create a podcast. Uh, would anyone like to tell me what we have been doing so far? Um, we did good relations work with Laura this morning and it was just sort of like icebreakers and helping us um, identify stereotypes and discrimination and we did different games for that. And we also learned like how people can be prejudiced and like judging people before they get to know them. I met with Orla this morning as well and she was telling us like how long we should talk and she helped us figure out what to say and like our groups and everything. Well first of all we're going to go on to our main subject. What uh, music is better? Do you prefer music from the past or music nowadays? I would prefer a wee bit of both. Yeah, same. It depends what mood I'm in and who I'm with. If you're with hyper people, it tends to be like more modern music because like, with all the electronic sounds and then this 80s music. It's just perfect time for that. Well, personally, I like both, but I also think that mainly I like m 80s music because a lot of our music now has been influenced by 80s music, so it sort of reflects back on that. I would prefer the music from the past as well. Um, who would your favourite singer be? It varies. If they've got, I don't really go by singer. Like, if there's a good song, I'll listen to it and. If it's not, I'll just not bother. Um, I have a wide variety of singers. It depends on the day again, and like, um, if they bring out new music, I tend to listen to them more. I just don't really care about singers as long as it's a good song. I'd listen to it. How have the styles and genres changed over the past years? Um, I think more. In the 1980s, it was more rock-based and a lot of like live-focused. So it was all about the live performance rather than the music videos. Um, whereas now, um, there's not as much of that. Um, it's more electronic and dance music that you'd hear at like clubs or whatever. Also, fashion has influenced uh, the change of genre and the music, like you would have been wearing more colours coming up to now, and the fashion has also influenced people to listen to that genre of music. Um, I've also found that there's way more bad language in songs nowadays. I feel like people are under pressure to have at least one um, bad word in it to keep up with everyone else. Because they, they seem to find it cool nowadays, the bad language. I also think that the style has definitely changed. Like, if you look back in 80s music, there's leather jackets and headbands and crazy hairstyles, whereas now it's more, it's more like fancy outfits and more high market videos and more like product placements as well. Like, you'd say you brands in it as well for sponsorship and everything. Alicia, would you like to tell me what you think about auto-tune? I say it's more, ba it's more, we use it more nowadays than they used back then because they're more live back then and then now we're just uh, like photoshopping and auto-tuning and stuff in to make us sound good. What do you think about auto-tune? Um, I think from 1980s perspective, there was a lot less and now it doesn't really matter if you can't sing. If you're in the music industry, there's something that'll be able to make people believe that you sing. Until Even in concerts, there'd still be some people singing along to a track 
to mask the fact and they'd be having dance routines and everything lined up so that it, it's still a performance but it's taken away from the fact that it's not about the music anymore. Yeah, um, I would like to add to the part about the concert. I don't see why people should pay money for a ticket when there's way more people out there that can sing way better rather than using auto-tune. Yeah, I think if you listen to someone singing live and they can't sing, it actually puts me off the artist mm. and I just don't bother with them anymore. Whereas if I hear someone's live performance and they're fantastic, it encourages me to listen to them more. Who would be the best live performer, Ariana Grande or Taylor Swift? Ariana Grande, probably. Personally, like I think probably, Ariana yeah. Grande. Like I haven't been to any either of their concerts, but I prefer Ariana Grande's music. She has good, good vocals, mm. and Taylor Swift is very good, as I've seen her in concert, but it would have to be Ariana. Yeah. That's another thing, I think. They're both amazing performers, but also I think Taylor Swift, because of her sort of like infamous sort of social media mm. um, reputation, it sort of takes her following away because people think, oh, she's in these feuds just to for publicity and just to make money out of it. It sort of takes that away, whereas Ariana Grande sort of just seems to lie low and keep focusing on the music. And I also think that's a thing about people in the music industry. They use social media for publicity rather than just going out and making music and recording albums. Um, I would like to mention that music can affect um, people's lives and everyday life because if a young kid likes um, a singer they tend to follow in their footsteps and like they change their lifestyle to match theirs so that can have a positive impact on their child. Yeah. Um, I also think it's good for like you said for them to be influential because um, without that children almost have nowhere to go. Yeah, like if they don't follow it. Yeah, but for um, singers that like dress inappropriately, I feel like they have like a negative impact on young kids because they feel the need to dress them or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People listen to music that their emotion. Like if they've got different emotion, they like listen to a certain song. Like if they were sad, listen to like slow songs and all. Yeah. And um, does anyone have like a main? Favorite um, genre of music? Mm, probably rock. Same. Um, mm. But also, I like I like everything really. Um, pop is great. It just depends. I love Christmas music. <laughs> Someone's Christmas. <laughs> uh, that's another thing. Like mm. seasonally, there's music that sounds like it should sort of be a summer soundtrack or whatever yeah. and that also helps with sales for them as well. Yeah. There's also a few stereotypes. Uh, I've heard one recently. Uh, only old people listen to country music. What do you think about that? I totally disagree with that. It's definitely not true where we're from. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone listens to country music. Especially, I think it's got more that young people are listening to country yeah. music. Mm -hmm. There's Definitely. farmers' bashes and everything, yeah. and everyone's away to them. Everyone loves that stuff. Mm. Mm, also, if you had to name your top two favourite songs, what would they be? Oh, of all time, I have no idea. I yeah. like Celine Dion, My Heart Will Go On. It's a classic song. There's so many, like, of different time yeah. periods. Yeah, that they have a heartfelt meaning. Or yeah. no, not even that. If you like, out on holiday and you hear a song, uh, as soon as you hear that song, you'll remember that holiday. Yeah. And yeah, I think that's do. great about it as well. I have one, like, I just listen to everything. Well, that is all we have time for today. Um, hopefully you will like comment and subscribe. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.